All right, ladies and gentlemen, so you've gone through the warm-up questions now, and uh, hopefully they helped you gain a better understanding of how the Native Americans and the Plymouth settlers really had a pretty good relationship starting out. Uh, hopefully you referenced Squanto, who we'll come back, to again, uh, come back to again in just a moment. If you're looking at the notes above me, uh, you'll see that Plymouth benefited from those good Native American relationships at first, but we're going to see by the end of class today how that changed, unfortunately, for the worse. Um, in particular, you mentioned you may have had up to three or four answers for your warm-up question about how the Native Americans helped the, um, the colonists. Squanto, in particular, spoke English so well because, and he was such a good helper, because he had been to England, as you might have read, but he had also uh, gone over, then he was spent years in Europe, in both Spain and England, if I remember correctly. Then he was kidnapped, or then he came back to the New World, was kidnapped, taken back to Europe again, escaped, and made his way back one more time. So he actually crossed the Atlantic Ocean, uh, one, two, three complete trips, six complete trips, until he got back home. So uh, uh, the sad part is, by the time he got back, his village where Plymouth used to be was devastated and decimated by disease. So the settlers who arrived, they were essentially living where uh, Squanto's family had lived and where he had he'd grown up before he had been kidnapped. So Squanto was a really tragic tale, but it's also awesome because he learned a lot, he helped a lot of people, and he overcame a lot of adversity. Very tough, tough guy. So pretty cool story if you want to look into it more later on your own. Uh, once you're done with these basic notes on Plymouth and Native American relations, we will add more to them later. But if you look right over here, you'll see the two documents you need to have open in your tabs. One of them is our 2.3 Plymouth and the New England Colonies form that you're going to be doing today. And then past that is a 3D model of the Plymouth Plantation in your online textbook, which is what you'll be working on now. Read the instructions and you can collaborate with the person next to you. Uh, but you'll have five multiple choice questions to answer with that form, just like we've been practicing this week.